Item 748 Level 3 Confidential Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class VLAM Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures the non-anomalous structure above SCP-748 has been converted into Site-68. In the event of a civilian encounter, security personnel are to employ non-lethal force in conjunction with the administration of amnestics. A steel, barbed wire fence must be maintained at a 4 km radius around SCP-748. Signs warning of toxic contamination are to be attached to the fence at every 3 meter interval. Security has been increased in light of recent changes to SCP-748. Researchers are to travel and work in groups of no fewer than three and must be accompanied by an armed escort at all times. Security personnel are to be equipped with helmet-mounted live audio-video recording devices and all personnel must be equipped with a GPS tracking unit. Description SCP-748 is an abandoned industrial complex capable of mass production through anomalous technology. Located in Lowell, Massachusetts, SCP-748 was constructed beneath a non-anomalous factory. SCP-748's anomalous machines are rusted, damaged, and primarily disabled. Based on recovered documents, these machines would have required a level of power on par with a fusion reactor but their intended power source has yet to be discovered. The construction of SCP-748 appears to be incomplete. Evidence of this includes walled doorways, dead-end halls, and wires pipes that connect to nothing. Posters throughout the complex display motivational propagandistic slogans. Including a hard worker is a happy worker and active minds led to idle hands, among others. The first subterranean floor is accessible via a collapsed portion of SCP-748 surface interior. Metal signs designate the location as boarding 031200, Greek letter iota, 21 inches. The floor is characterized by eight hallways, cell blocks 18 each converging at a circular room equipped with a large mechanical lift. Cells are designed for the containment of workers. The floor is estimated to have been designed for the capability of housing 4,000 to 6,000 individuals in crowded, unsanitary conditions. The second subterranean floor is a rectangular chamber. Despite its distance from the surface it appears to be designed for the packaging and shipping of products. Local signs designate the floor shipping 031200, Greek letter fire, 5190 inches. The floor contains 21 mechanical lifts including the central elevator, the lifts most likely used for the transportation of items from the assembly floor. Contained within are three machines of identical design attached to the southern, eastern, and northern walls and are respectively labeled notus. 1 errors, 2 and point 3 although disabled, recovered documents suggest that their purpose was related to the transportation of objects. The western wall appears to have once housed such a machine but it seems to have been destroyed. These machines have since been classified as SCP-748-1. Heavily rusted crates were discovered haphazardly scattered throughout the area. The crates are non-anomalous and their anomalous cargo has been transferred to site for study. Anomalous objects recovered from these crates include 500 rocking horses, biologically alive, scream when observed, highly radioactive, 500 fur coats crafted from the pelts of various unknown species, perpetually on fire, 2,000 rifles that superficially resemble the M1903 inches Springfield. No observable anomalies but canned counters have registered them at 50 hum, suggesting high levels of potential unreality. 800 bowler hats that cannot be removed once worn. Causes the wearer to expel wasps from every orifice. 200,000 cigarettes. Direct inhalation transforms the consumer into a basking shark. Affected individuals will explode after complete transformation. A process requiring approximately 30 minutes. 10 metric tons of rotten meat. 
Genetic analysis revealed a hybrid species of human, pig, and squid. Highly radioactive. The third subterranean floor is a semicircular chamber accessible via the central elevator. Signs designate this floor production 031200, Greek letter omega, 91 inches. The location is composed of conveyor belts, pneumatic tubes, electron tubes, and pipes, all of which connect to a large machine. Since classified as SCP-748-2, located in the southern section of the chamber. Based on recovered documents, SCP-748-2's intended purpose was roughly analogous to a molecular assembler. For however, its design and mechanics fail to correlate with such a hypothetical constructor or with established laws of nature, rendering the process entirely anomalous. It appears that SCP-748-2 suffered significant damage at some point in the past, an event likely related to SCP-748's neutralization. This is estimated to have occurred in the early 1950s despite records stating that the surface factory was shut down and abandoned in 1915.